Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start with looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have rallied on um, basically on Sunday. And also now we opened it in, in the green. So we're trading at the 34,280 at this current stage. We are struggling at the 50 moving average, and that is up here, give or take uh, 35,400. Um, we need to break above that in order to go to 40,000, and that will be the test whether or not we manage to break above that. If you do, then it's a fairly good chance that we'll go to 50 and then beyond. But if this continues, then it's more likely that we'll go to 30,000 and drop way below that. So. The way that this has been behaving in the past, then it's probably a better chance that this will break towards 30,000 and then 20 and then beyond that. It doesn't look like there's um, the um, enthusiasm for this market has just completely gone and uh, the hype is basically also gone from this market. MACD is uh, bullish at this point. MACD, uh, the stochastic is flat and this RSI is also flat and there's a lot of room to the downside. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum um, has rallied a little bit. This uh, it uh, broke down. I think it was on Wednesday, and hasn't really recovered after that. It uh, rallied up towards the 250 moving average and then just completely collapsed. Now we're struggling at the 20 exponential break below the 200. That could open the door to roughly 1700, and the 300 moving average down here at, 14, at roughly 1500. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is very bearish, and the RSI is flat. So there's a lot of room still to the downside. 300 moving average down here at 1500 will mostly be targeted if this continues. And it is technically just a 200 moving average that is holding. If we break above the 50, then we could go towards 300, but this doesn't really look good. And if Bitcoin starts to uh, fall apart, then most of the other cryptocurrency market uh, will usually follow so let's look at cardano so cardano as well fell last week and have not recovered uh, any meaningful in this uh, weekend and at the moment we're struggling at the 20 exponential trading at to 1.33 and fifth and macd is a, still in bearish territory and flat stochastic is bearish and the rsi is flat so it just looks like a market that is going to slowly dying and the test of the 200 moving average that could be the next move here if bitcoin starts falling then this probably will fall as well we need to break above the 50 moving average in order to go back towards it two dollars so let's look at litecoin so litecoin it's very similar thing here we're just slowly going lower in this market probably much easier to do see it right here that we're struggling at this uh, resistant line and uh, we may, may well fall towards the hundred dollar level if we don't break above here and go and test the 50 moving average and so on we need to break above the 50 in order to go to, to 200 and that is around the 200 dollar level and um, that just seems really far off as we can see that we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential broken down and then just continue going lower and lower MACD is still in bearish territory and is bullish and the stochastic is bearish and RSI is flat. It's a lot of room still to the downside. Next move could be towards the 300 moving average or up towards the 50 moving average at 154. So let's look at NEO. So NEO, very similar here to, uh, to uh, Litecoin, has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, broken down, 20, broken down, 20, broken down. So it may well be that we'll test the $25 range yet again. If that falls apart, then we may fall towards the previous lows here before the, the start of this rally, which was down at the $10 at $14. You can see the MACD is still in negative territory, but it's bullish and stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at Dogecoin. So Dogecoin slowly as well, falling towards the 200 moving average, uh, drop below the 200, opens the door to the 300 down here at 0 
and the drop below that, well, then we are going to, well, do a very, very low digit there. So 0 0.005 is probably as far as this will go to the downside. MACD is flat, stochastic is becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat. There just isn't that momentum that we saw here. The hype in this market has completely vanished. And that was kind of the thing that was driving this market as there's nothing really special about this compared to other cryptocurrencies. So as long as the hype is not there, then we're not going to see this momentum to the upside. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.